Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine, and here is another video in the beginner series bow making. Uh, this is video number two, and this is going to be all about bottle caps. So, um, in my last video, I spoke about becoming an Amazon affiliate, so I will put Amazon links to where you can get the bottle caps and the epoxy dots that we're going to put on top. All like that, and the other items that I use to make them. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is. First off, there's two different types that you can get. You can get the plain silver flattened bottle caps. I prefer the flattened ones over the others. Let's see, do I have one? I don't believe I do. Okay, I don't have... Oh, yeah, I do. Right here. So here's the non-flattened ones. And I don't like these for bows because they don't sit... Like, they tend to pop off more. I like the flattened ones for the bows. If I'm going to use... If I get... If I have these ones or if I get them, I use these to make bottle cap necklaces. Which, they're super cute and kids go gaga over them. Which is so easy... I can show you how I do that as well in this one. So, little bonus there. So anyway, so there's that. So, first thing you're going to need is some bottle caps. And you're going to need the epoxy dots. Like I said, the link will be in the description below on where to, you get them. And if you purchase through that link in the description, I get credit for it. So, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. And the most efficient and best way to do it. So, you need your caps, your epoxy dots. The other thing you're going to need is one of these little Xeron sticker makers. This one, I think, says it's for like inch and a half stickers. And a one inch hole punch. Because these are one inch bottle caps and that's the general rule is one inch bottle caps. But, you'll see, this, this right here is how you get your sticker stick. Now, when you get it, there's two different types of adhesive. There's a repositionable adhesive and a permanent one. Make sure when you buy the, the refills and you buy the one, you get the permanent adhesive. Your bottle, your images will not come off your caps. Trust me, I have had one sitting around and you can't even take them off. Like, they will not come off. I tried it with, in the beginning, I tried hot glue. They popped off. I tried super glue. They popped off. I even tried the E6000, and the Super Glue and the E6000 bled through my image itself, which I didn't like because it had that bleed. So, and never, nothing else stayed on as good as the permanent adhesive with the sticker maker. So, we need our one inch hole punch. Now, this one is this type. There's all kinds of different types. I'll put a couple of different links, and you can choose which one you prefer. But it's really easy. So, also with my images, I will put a link to my Facebook group. There, and you come join my group. There is an awesome lady in there, Miss Kim. She makes the images, and she's awesome, and she's got so many of them. All you have to do, and they're free, so that makes her even a more amazing person. All you do is just save the picture to your computer, and you can send it off to um, Shutterstock or Shutterfly, because I think I said that wrong, um, CVS, wherever, uh, Walmart, wherever you want to print, or you print at home, if that's what you prefer. They're four by six images, that's how the circles are one inch. So you just, you get them like this, and I'm just going to pick one that is up at the top here. And all I do is I just take it and I center my image in the center of my hole upside down and I punch it out. It is so easy to do that. And then all I do is take my little punched out, I drop it in the slot there, and then I pull. And then I rip that off. I kind of just press to make sure. And then this little piece comes off and that's sticky so you got to make sure you... Before you throw it away or else it'll stick to everything. And then all you do is you pull it off. Now you have a permanent sticker on the back. And you just set it in. 
push it down and then you grab a dot off your sheet and they come like this on the sheets with this little plastic cover over it to protect it and then you just kind of set your dot in and then I just give it some pressure just to make sure because underneath the dot there'll be some like little air bubble ish so I just kind of seal it all down and that's it easy peasy all done good to go that way now when I do my um, bottle cap ones my for my necklaces is how I do those so you just take it and then we line it up I just pop it into my hand set everything off to the side and I pull it through always the same way and then I take it and I put it on the top here on this just kinda make sure cuz I already punched my hole so if you're gonna do it make sure you're upright in the same way and then I push that on and then I take a dot and I center over that just like that and these necklaces I will put in the description below I got them on Amazon as well I did have to add the split ring to it and I like the split rings better than the jump rings the jump rings tend to because kids are pretty rough on stuff so they tend to pull and then the cap comes off the necklace so I like the split rings better and all I do with those if you have fingernails it's easy if not you can try but I just kind of split it apart with my fingernail and then just get it on the cap right through the hole kind of like you're putting a key on a key ring same way same way and just twist it until it comes around and there we have it cheap easy way to make a simple show filler um, you can print out images for boys uh, Kim at, on in my group she's got all different boy type images from superheroes to Minecraft to all kinds of other stuff as well and the boys go crazy over these. You wouldn't think so, but they do. And you can get the caps in the colors. I will put a link for those as well. But as long also with this cord, which is this leather cord, which is adjustable and sizable, and you just clip it on. So easy to make. Uh, bottle caps. Um, and then you just put them on a simple pinwheel bow or something that might be plain I know this one doesn't really match but it's what I have done and you just set them in the center and there you go you can also put them in the middle of your twisted boutique bows your I mean so many things that you see me use them in a couple of my different videos just like that so there we have that's how you do bottle caps and then a bottle cap necklace once again everything will be in the description below along with a link to my Facebook page and my Facebook group um, I share all my videos there the group we have an amazing group of ladies there if I can't answer a question if I don't get to it in time if I'm busy or something and they know the answer or they know where to find it or whatever they jump in and they answer the questions everybody there is very helpful and like I said, all the links to these will be in the description below. If you purchase through my links from Amazon, then I get credit for it. Um, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. There will be more in this beginner series to come. So please keep an eye out. Thank you again. Thumbs up, subscribe, and happy crafting.